You guys remember this video, right? Where I dive into exactly why I think Ashes of Creation will launch in 2023. Well, I may have been a bit ambitious there. Because after seeing the November livestream, well, I'm now very optimistic for a 2024 launch. Don't get me wrong, I'm still a firm believer of most of what I said in that video though, except for the release date. When you look back at the November video, it just seems very unfinished, compared to that one region of the Riverlands we've been seeing for most of the year, showcasing us the Minotaurs and the Seasons and all that, which that was much more intentional because Intrepid put us there for a reason. They put us there because that part of the world looks good, and what we saw in November, although it did look great, I'm not going to say it didn't because it did look great, but there's definitely still a lot of room for improvement. We got to see three classes, the fighter, the ranger, and the cleric, but we did not see the tank. The tank is not ready yet, and none of these are full class kits, whether Intrepid hasn't finished the class kits yet, or they just don't want to show us the whole thing, or a bit of both is unknown. Maybe these are the most polished spells that they have for these classes, but it's really hard to say. So with that video, I'm now going into my 2024 launch video because that is now when I think Ashes of Creation will release. But that doesn't mean I don't think the alpha is going to start up in the beginning of next year. We know that the month of December is supposed to be big in terms of what Intrepid has to show us, but what exactly could that be? It has been confirmed that we are not getting any naval content, and as of the November stream, the tank isn't ready to showcase either, so we probably aren't getting dungeon gameplay. But there is a whole lot of testing that needs to be done in the world of Vera, and I think that Intrepid is going to open that up to us pretty soon. If we look way back in December of 2020, that was really when the build-up to Alpha 1 kicked off, with a pre-test running four days in December, and the months to follow with it being behind NDA. And although this was two years ago, I'm thinking we may be getting a similar schedule announcement for Alpha 2 in the December livestream. Steven has already said in the October AMA that spot testing would be starting up in the next few months to select members of the community, and here we are nearly three months later with no new news on that. That doesn't mean it hasn't actually already started happening, it could have, and it could just be under NDA that we don't know about, or they haven't quite announced that yet, but we are all patiently waiting for that announcement with something big looming on the Ashes of Creation horizon for the December livestream. Steven seems to be big around holiday surprises, with the Unreal Engine 5 announcement last year for 2021, and with the Alpha 1 pre-testing back in 2020. What exactly we will be testing, though, when this finally opens up is anyone's guess. I imagine Intrepid will want to get heavy spot testing on combat and make sure the classes are in a very good spot before even showing us an in-depth amount of gameplay to the public, which would explain why Steven expects the spot testing to be under NDA. We saw a good amount of combat in the November livestream that has very clearly made huge strides in the right direction since Alpha 1 and even throughout the year, but it's still not quite where a lot of people are hoping to see it. So that, in my opinion, would be top priority. Combat can make or break the gaming experience, and Intrepid should not lift the veil to Alpha 2 before that is where they want to see it. Because the internet will tear it apart because people don't understand what Alpha means. These days, companies throw out an Alpha or Beta, and it's just an early way to play the game and hype people up. It's not the buggy mess of Alphas that the majority of developers go through and we just don't see, and that is what Alpha 2 should be, and Intrepid is looking for testers, not players for these Alphas, to really go through through these systems and make it work for the people who are jumping in in the launch of the game. And for those who continue to not believe me that Ashes of Creation will get better and better as development goes on, well, this is something I'm going to dive a bit more into in another video, but here is Ashes of Creation in 2018. As you can see, it looks very rough. You can see a lot of familiarity with creatures and abilities, but the game looked very rough in its pre-alpha state, with the graphics being pretty stale and the animations and all of that just not being where you'd expect them to be for or an MMO. But again, it was pre-alpha. Then you jump into Alpha 1 in 2021, and it looks like a completely different game in the matter of three years. With lighting, graphics, and animations going through more passes and more updates as Intrepid continues to work on the game. Now, as we move into Alpha 2, we are about to be running on Unreal Engine 5.1, and the world continues to get updated. The textures continue to go through passes, the lighting gets better, the combat's been revamped, the races have all been revamped, and we haven't even seen the world in a more complete 
completed state. This game is going to continue to look better and better, especially once the floodgates open and they allow thousands of testers to finally play the game and give actual feedback. Because things like combat can only go so far in the hands of the dev team and will really improve as the players can actually play it and test it and tell Intrepid what they want. And if we can go from this to this in three years, imagine what it will look like come launch. The team at Intrepid does an unbelievable job at making this game look better and better through every testing phase, and that is really the whole point of Alphas. But anyways, I am still believing that the majority of the world is also in a fairly completed state. It may not be populated, but Intrepid has shown us so much in the past four or five years, and Steven again stated in the October AMA that the biggest thing holding them back from Alpha 2 right now is content. They are still going through adding a lot of content, which in order to do this, you need a fairly completed world layout. I will continue to stand by the fact that a testing announcement is imminent and we are going to at any point now, hopefully in the December stream, see a rough alpha 2 date come, and I would imagine it will now be for quarter 2 or quarter 3 of 2023. And I say rough date because as a lot of you may remember, Alpha 1's testing got pushed back a few times and although it originally was stated for April of 2021, we didn't get to jump into the world of Vera until July, nearly three months later. I do think Intrepid is going to give us a lot more spot testing under NDA leading into Alpha 2 though this time because they are not going to keep the Alpha open forever to burn players out from the final game. They want some things to be a mystery in the world of Ashes of Creation and even through Alpha 2, I don't think we're going to see everything Intrepid it has to offer, but they want to get that testing done before it's showcased to the world, so I bet we're going to see a lot more extensive NDA tests to get it ready for when they drop the veil and show it to everybody. I imagine once that veil is dropped, we will see Alpha 2 run for maybe half a year before leading into the betas and hopefully a summer or fall of 2024 launch. Do you think a 2024 release date is a much more realistic date for Ashes of Creation or even then too soon to finally see the world of Vera come to life? Let me know in the comments down below and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use the referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.